All right, guys, let's let's talk about this here, because what we got going on is we got some mid-season practice, some during-season practice uh, here at a 3D Target at home. Very important, yet so neglected by so many, myself included. Um, during hunting season, we get very little time to actually hunt. We don't get to be out, or I mean, very little time to actually practice, because we're either working, spending time with family, or we're hunting. When we're hunting, we're not shooting as much as we'd like to be. Yeah, a judo from the tree stand, a couple shots before we head out in the morning or in the afternoon at the car, uh, you know, at your truck, a few things like that. But actually really putting in some practice time we don't get to spend a lot of time doing that. So it's important to make time. So if you don't, you're gonna suffer, okay? Where if you're used to shooting like you were before the season where you were coming out every day or every couple of days and uh, putting 20, 30, 40, 50 arrows in there, and now all of a sudden you go to shooting, you know, three arrows a week, there's gonna be a problem there. Not only a problem with your accuracy, there's going to be a problem with your form, the way you're holding, the muscle tension, all these kind of things are going to come into play and they're going to give you issues and you're not going to be up to par. So we do all this prep beforehand for the season to get ourselves ready. Then a the season rolls around and we let it all go to waste. We need to stay on top of that. Now here, um, you know, I'm hunting a lot of evenings. I don't get to hunt. I haven't hunted a morning yet in the whole time. Uh, just because of the location to where I got to go to hunt. But I'm hunting every evening, so I make a point still to try and when I get up in the mornings, uh, well, the whole world is kind of still sleeping. I don't I don't get up super early, so it's not like before dark or anything. But when I get up, um, even before I jump in the shower, I usually try and come out and I'll fire, you know, five or ten arrows just to shoot a few of them. Wednesdays, family day, like this. Okay, family dinner night, kids are going to come over pretty soon, this kind of thing. I don't hunt on Wednesdays at all, ever. And I use that time to, like, here it is Wednesday, I make some videos, but I also shoot quite a bit. It's important to keep your muscles working. It's important to keep the bow working. It's important to keep everything working and doing it on the range, the focus, the concentration, because we know that when it comes time to shoot at live animals, a lot of that stuff has to be memory, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna blow it. As a matter of fact, the deer I just killed, if you're in my Patreon, the first deer I've killed for Georgia, I killed a couple days ago, um, and that deer, when you're in my Patreon channel, you watch, he comes in, he walks right to the base of my tree, I'm looking at him, looking at him, and then he was standing there at like three yards, and he ain't quartering away, and went to draw, actually. And I hunkered in like this, and I went to draw, and when I drew, my binoculars were inside my string, and I couldn't shoot, I had to let down, flip my binoculars up over my shoulder at that time he kind of got nervous and trotted trotted I turned this way on here and sure enough I he was walking away from me and I drew and I came full draw and you can actually hear me going turn 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 soon as he, in the second he went whoop and turned and drilled it boom through both lungs he was dead completely right there 16 17 18 yard shot I don't even actually know what it was but it was pure perfection that stuff happens so quick with so much going on. Going from watching him come into this way to being down here below me waiting for him to see what he's going to do. And he's moving and then he comes out here and I can't. And then all of a sudden he takes off and I got to turn on the stand and there he is. And here he goes. And oh, there he is. Wait, come on, come on, come on. It was about this long too, a full draw. It was literally like this. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Dang it. Oh, oh there he goes. Like that. And... That stuff doesn't happen with you thinking about it, okay? You cannot think your way through those kind of situations. You need to be ready and involved in a moment and let, let what you do take over. Out here are practice sessions and our muscle forming and our form building and our mental aspect of it. This is where we prepare for all of that stuff so that we don't have to think about it. Now, maybe if you're a gap shooter or a string walker, you do all these things on here that I, I've never done, so I don't understand. But maybe if all that stuff matters, maybe you're stuck in that in the moment with doing that and you get all that stuff lined up and maybe that works for you. As an instinctive shooter, I don't. All I think about is where I want that arrow to go and I'm looking, I'm watching that spot. I on his shoulder move as his angle changes but I'm, I'm projecting that spot where that arrow is going to go and as soon as it gives me an opportunity I'm putting it there that means that I can't think about anything else so when I'm thinking about that I can't be thinking about my form my anchor my draw arm my bow tension my grip my finger tension on a string I can't with my finger position I can't think about any of that stuff I need to just be picking a spot that I want that arrow to pop into and focusing on it in order to do that, we need to stay up to date on our practice sessions. If we do not 
keep the all of here where we're under controlled situations. You just saw, saw what did I just shoot? I think I just shot three groups in a row. Foom, 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 right there for you. You know, they're, they're not the greatest. And if you notice, I'm kind of shooting just a smidge to the right. I mean, on all these, just a hair. I mean, only talking that much. I'm shooting a hair to the right. And, and I'm only shooting here at like, I don't know, 17 yards. Um, you would think that that would be, you know, I'd be a little bit more over, but I'm not, but I need to practice this. So when we're done with this video and the two others I got to make, I still got an hour before the kids get here, I'm going to practice more because it is that important to make the time to shoot your bow so that when the reality comes in the woods and you're not going to be thinking about all the crap you think you're going to be thinking about and all you're going to be doing is focusing on animal, it comes together for you. Vitally important. So don't neglect your in-season practice time. You still got to make time for it. Thanks for watching. Any comments you got, put them down below.